Hello everyone and welcome back to Gamescom 2016 here in Cologne, Germany. I am joined by two gentlemen from Little Nightmares, something that we just got to see a sneak peek of. And exactly. I had these questions planned in my head and then when I saw that trailer, like the art, it, it was, is it stop motion? Like what is the inspiration behind that art that's so prominent in that gameplay? Well, it's true that the um, Little Nightmares has a very strong art direction. I mean, there are a lot of influences uh, in this game. Um, some might say that um, uh, the game is influenced by uh, Jean-Pierre Jeunet's movie. Other might say, uh, you know, they, there is um, some kind of touch of um, Clock Tower games. So yeah, Studio Ghibli, for example. But there are so many different sources of inspiration for, for a game like this that has been brewing in our, in our studio for uh, many years. Well, first, can you guys uh, introduce yourselves and what your uh, part is in Little Nightmares? Yeah, sure. So we both producers, basically. Yep. Um, uh, my name is Lucas, and I'm producer at Bandai Namco Entertainment Europe. Yeah, I'm Henrik. I'm the uh, producer for the title at Tarsier Studios. All right. Well, you know what? Let's talk about the game, and let's actually go right into it and yeah, exactly. watch some gameplay. Let's see the demo. So the demo, which is uh, available uh, at the Gamescom. Oh, so like right after Gamescom? It's, uh, it's available right now. Oh. I mean, at uh, Gamescom. At the Gamescom only. Ah, okay. So basically, um, Little Nightmares is a suspense adventure game. Um, this is a very um, dream universe. Um, you can see in this in this first room. So this is a bedroom. This is a very cozy place, but you can you can still feel that there is something wrong here, because like there is these strong portraits on the background. So you you don't really really understand what's going on here and this is something you'll have to discover. It's something that like the game you kind of just adventure on your own and you don't really have to like there's there's not much clues to the game but you kind of learn it on your own right it's intuitive. Yeah ex exactly there's no like strong tutorial in the game it's it's focus the focus is on exploration. Is so. this is this the first level of the game? Uh, no this okay. is yeah, somewhere in between. So I mean uh, there's a lot of interaction in this game uh, you can really break a lot of objects, you can uh, drag a lot of suitcases, climb on, on shelves, it's, uh, it's really a key feature of this game. So this, is she the little nightmare or...? <laughs> She's the hero of the game basically and uh, this little girl, her name is Six, so she is uh, trapped in uh, this very mysterious place which is called the Mole and you, you don't really know much about it. Um, and this is something that you will discover when playing the game. She just wants to escape. Yeah, and here you can see her using the, the lighter, which is uh, her, uh, her, one of her items that she can use. So yeah. it, it doesn't seem like there's any prominent antagonists in this just yet. Yeah, yeah exactly. you, you never know what, you know, you, you have, always have to be careful when walking around in, in here. You never know what you might find. Yeah. Oh, so here, for example, this is maybe a character that look, you know, quite what? dangerous. So I'd rather like sneak. You know, Six is a very little girl. She's weak, and she might encounter enemies who are much bigger and stronger than her. So she has to be smart. She has to be very careful yes. when she moves. Yeah. You know, I was about to say, if I ever saw a character like that in real life, I don't know what I would do. And yeah, uh, lucky for you, they, they're not here. So yeah, she'll have to use her, her brains and smarts to outwit her enemies rather than face them oh. directly. So I did close the oven door and that is going to attract the chef, my enemy. So it seems like there isn't much dialogue, if any dialogue, but there's so much ambiance and sound effects exactly. that you don't really need it. Yeah, there, there is no, there's not going to be anyone here holding your hand telling you what you need to do. Ooh, watch out. Uh, so, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so I the, sh the chef saw me, so he's really upset and trying to, I'm to upset catch too. me. So I'd rather get out of yeah. here. So here, you, this is um, another atmosphere. This is um, another feature of the game, which is more like um, a puzzle. You can easily see the exits of uh -huh. the puzzle, but you're really like, okay, what I'm supposed to do with that? With that? 
It's so much worse hearing the games in sound with this happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, if this was any other kind of adventure game, maybe you would find a rope here for you to use to swing to the other side. But mm -hmm. Little Nightmares, it's not like any other adventure game, really. No, it's, you have to be really observant about the like, yeah. your environment around you. So that sounds like a sausage grinder. Um, I was able to make one sausage, but that, that's, not, that's not enough to to be able to jump over there, so maybe I'm going to try to find more. Is there anything else that you guys want to say about the gameplay that maybe we weren't able to show to the audience or anything else to add? So uh, most things in the environment, they're, they're interactive and you can play around with them and, and use them to your advantage. And just by exploring the world, you'll, you'll see that um, uh, like everyday objects, for, for, for everyone else, it's an everyday object. But for you, it might be the tool that you need to use to escape. Exactly. Or it can be dangerous as well. You have to watch out. Yeah. All right. So well, I think that actually is all the time that we have for right now. All right. And <clears throat> so you said that people can play this here at Gamescom. Exactly. What hall? Uh, it's in Hall H. It's in Hall H, yeah. yeah. Right next to the big entrance. Yeah. And is there any possibility of this game coming out soon? The game is going to be released uh, in spring 2017. Oh, great. Yeah. On uh, PSN, Xbox Live, and uh, PC. Yes. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. Thank and you. And guys, uh, we're going to be right back after this quick break. Okay, awesome.